previously on Quest Out West. My van, we took her camper. My van that's parked in your driveway that you asked me to park to be safe is going to be the tow truck. We are in Calgary. Nobody seems to have any cars available in all of Calgary for the entire rest of the week and maybe two weeks. And again, I'm on the verge of being homeless. I don't know, I don't know what to do. So I just went to the airport. I couldn't wait till the morning. And uh, they confirmed that it's true. They don't have any cars anywhere in Calgary for the next quite a bit of time because of the chip shortages. So what I'm gonna try to do is keep the car that I have right now and then figure out a solution. This is the first time that I've actually been into Canmore. I've passed it, I've actually gotten off the highway, and then I was like, I don't know, and then I turned around, but I'm actually in, in Canmore. It's cute. Um, I just want to stop until the sun comes out, because I really, I don't, I'm not, obviously not gonna try crossing the mountains tonight. I'm gonna wait till it's morning. I still feel so, stressed and weird about the plan because there isn't any real plan once i get to the ferry then i gotta make decisions the sun is just starting to come up and i just noticed that i am deeply in the mountains surrounded by them it's beautiful and i couldn't see it at all last night in the pitch black as much as i'm pretty much in a life-threatening scenario. <laughs> this is what I woke up to this morning. I'm gonna go ask this vanner <laughs> if they have any plans to head out west. Well, technically we're already west, but you know what I mean. while I contemplate my life I have to choose whether I'm going to go back to Calgary and drop off the car there and then somehow get away out of Calgary or to keep going west and and figure it out but then also still have to go back to Calgary to bring back the car noticed that this is a 5g tower ew I posted a video asking for help on all of my YouTube channels and several Facebook pages and someone left a genius comment uh, thank you Tanya Weller she said get a u-haul <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this before considering that's exactly how I got out of North Bay Probably because all I could remember was the how expensive it was, but at this point, because everything's just getting more increase, increasingly expensive with all the other options that I have to get there, it's the best option. It's probably going to cost, it's going to cost, well, it's going to cost what it's going to cost and it's going to get me home. So thank you, Tanya, for saving me. I, uh, I'm going to go back to Calgary now and, um bring back this well I'm gonna get the U-Haul first so that I'm not homeless and then I'm gonna bring back this rental car and head back home goodbye Canmore you magical gorgeous place there's an update <laughs> all right I just got a call 
from someone who saw my post on Facebook and they're gonna be in Calgary tonight and we're gonna go together to Vancouver. I'm so psyched because it is going to save my life because honestly the U-Haul was really gonna clean me out and then I would be super screwed, which I will have to do if this doesn't work out. But this, if it does work out, then this is so great. This is amazing and I will happily pay their gas. You know, technically I'm having my coffee in front of my mountain view. Not the same without the van though. Also the noise from the trucks. It is my last night here, so I'm thinking of things that I can do while I'm still here. I have a dinner date slash late lunch or whatever that's gonna become and uh, see what else we can do. Is that a bunny? Oh my God, it is a bunny. Tomorrow morning I'm getting picked up super early at like, uh, well, probably seven or something like that. For me, it's early because I still have to go drop off the car, so I gotta leave here really early, then go to get dropped off in Vancouver, hopefully, hopefully about 12 or so hours later, or whatever along it is, and then get a U-Haul and go the rest of the way. So, wish me luck. There's that bunny again. This bunny's got balls. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> so it's about 3.30 in the morning and I uh, am going to clean up the car and get it ready to bring it back and go to the pickup spot so that I can get to Vancouver today. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I love it. Airport at Enterprise right now, dropping up the car. Meanwhile, all of my stuff, including my cats, is in a stranger's truck right now, and I'm distrusting that they are good people that are not going to run off with all my stuff. I think that they are. They seem really, really nice, and plus they're fellow patriots, if you know what I mean. And uh, they have a Weirdos Unite sticker, so they're my people. They're my people. I trust them. <laughs> all right, so I'm waiting for them to come pick me up. Um, I think it'll be fine because they answered the phone. So, yep. <laughs> Hi, thank you.
golden and I I love these guys are great they're so awesome this was the best thing ever a little miracle This bed is so comfortable, it's unreal. Okay, I just checked in and uh, to a hotel because I booked a U-Haul and I just we just didn't make it here in time. The place is closed. So I gotta pick it up tomorrow morning and do the same thing I did in North Bay. Go get the U-Haul, come back here, pack the U-Haul and check out. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna sleep for like the first time in five days or something like that. I mean, you know, a full sleep. I'm finally in Vancouver, thank God, but we're still not home. And tomorrow is a whole nother ordeal because I'm one person trying to move basically two vehicles. I have to drive to the van and then get the van away from her house and then bring the truck back to Nanaimo. So I have to go to Qualcomm Bay, which is a couple hours away from Nanaimo and somehow do this all on my own. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know, that's the story of my life, right? <laughs> so I don't want to recommend <laughs> getting in strangers' trucks or anything, but um, it worked out. And it's funny because it's almost like you never really know what you're gonna get because when I got into Bev's camper, I had already known her for about a month, been to her house for dinner, um, met her friends, talked with her for several hours, and I thought I had a feel for her and who she was. Um, but now I recognize that I was rationalizing red flags, like always, of course. Then I get into these <laughs> this truck with these completely random people that I've never met at all, um, and uh, they were the best ever they were these two guys who were uh, awake and a lot like we think a lot alike so that was really really awesome great conversations and um, it was a lot of fun I'm really grateful and uh, I made friends <laughs> it's pretty awesome so yeah it's it was really I couldn't have predicted that and I'm really grateful because it was if they weren't nice, if they weren't good people, I would have been horribly screwed. They could have taken off with all my stuff, you know, they could have taken off with my cats. It could have been really bad. So like I said, I don't recommend <laughs> doing it, but thank God. Mm -hmm.